Hey designers, today I'll show you some Figma plugins that you could save time and effort. If you want to install plugins in Figma, you just go to the plugins menu and then go browse plugins in community and then search for the plugins that you want. Then you just need to click on install. The first plugin I want to show you is called Content Reel. When you're designing, you might want some exact content rather than just placeholder or lower MIPSUM text. So let's go into the plugins menu and use Content Reel. I have some data saved here, but you can actually add your own data by clicking on the add menu here. So let me show you what you can do. I'll select some of the text, add some of the piece uh, shot names, maybe the kilometers, I already have it saved here. You could do different variations by clicking on it or looking at the time and change it as you need. It also supports images so you could just select the image placeholder and then I'll click on the images. Then you see that the pizza images are shown. The next plugin I want to show you is Unsplash. I usually use it just for placeholder images. So let me select the images first, go to the plugins menu, then go to Unsplash and it'll open the menu. Then I could select anything I want. Maybe I want some architecture shown. Then if I select that, because I have the images selected, it would populate the images from Unsplash. The third plugin I want to show you is called Token Space. Token Space allows you to align elements within an 8 pixel grid. Let me show you. So first I'll go into the plugins menu run token space and you would have a small menu here. The top portion shows you where you could align and the bottom shows you which pixel you're using. So first I'll select the image I want to align. Maybe I put it in the middle to just demonstrate what happens when I align them inside. So I could go on the left side which you would be 16 pixels on the left. If I want to align it to the top with maybe 24 pixels, I just press on this button, then you would get exact measurements, so like that. Another feature is distributing layers. So you have maybe a lot of different layers that you want to distribute evenly, right? So let me first show you what I can do, maybe a four pixel spacing from left to right, that would mean clicking on this button and then you could see that it has four pixel spacing like so. I'll show you how to use token space in practice. So if you want to align things in this design, if you see here, some alignments are pretty much off. So let's start. So I want maybe this on the 24, 16 pixels on top, maybe the left side 24 pixels, then I could align them pretty quickly. I see these are not distributed correctly. Maybe I want four pixels from left to right, and I do that. It's aligned there. I see that I want maybe eight pixels. Do I like that? Yes, I could do that really quick. So eight pixels for that also, also for the stuff below. I will just group them really quickly. And then if you want some equal spacing, maybe I would say for the title to the image card, maybe 16 pixels would be good. Or should I go tighter? Or in between, maybe I think I like eight pixels. So I could go eight pixels down like that and apply that, then you already have some designs there. I'll group them really quick. Then you just distribute these again. Maybe I want a bit more spacing, so maybe 32 pixels. You could align them really quickly 
within the 8 pixel grid. The next plugin I want to show you is called Simile Layer. When you want to select some layers and you have a bunch to select, for example, the time text over here, I need to select them one by one and that's pretty hard to do. So let's use a plugin called Simile Layer. Go to the plugins menu, run Simile Layer. Then I'll select one layer that I want to select, which would be identical. I could use the layer name and the textile. You could also use the menu over here to select which overlaps, right? So I'll just select, select layers. Then you'd see that all the layers I wanted to select is selected. The last plugin I want to show you is called Component Plug. This is used when you have a main component inside your designs and you want to take it out. So the normal method you would do is take this out, but you still want a copy of it inside, right? So let me go back. You just need to select the main component, go to the plugins, and go to Component Plus. Then what it does is leaves a copy inside while you have the main component moved outside. Please support the channel by liking and subscribing. Let me know in the description if you have any questions. Then, see you next time. Bye!